Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits review. Today from the Oakham Brewery, Scarlet Macaw, uh, which is an American pale. It says fruity, bitter, vibrant, hopped with summit amarillo. And it's in date as well, which is good. Scarlet Macaw flew into our brewery as an inspiration from an amazing children's book about pirates. Bold and adventurous, Scarlet Macaw is brewed using two of our favourite hops, Amarillo for its spicy fruity character and Summit, the most powerful of all American hops. Exciting fruity hop flavours and intensely refreshing bitterness that's as sharp as a Macaw's screech. Oh, right, let's give it a, a pour. Certainly hoppy on the nose. I mean, two homebrew kits are bubbling away at the back. I mean, I've got a grapefruit one and a pomegranate ju from juice, you know, um, normal store bought juice. Uh, obviously, add six kilos of sugar in each batch behind me and uh, see what turns out the grapefruit was as tart as they come i drank a little bit before i put it you know put the rest in bloody hell it was tart so what that turns out to be a tart wine and the pomegranate was quite sweet so is that going to be a sweet wine or are they both going to turn out nasty you know i've done the prune juice and uh ooh, the first glass i had it needs to um What's the word? Settle and clear. But uh, the first trial glass that I had was a bit on the uh, rough side. And I could swear that I felt I felt like I needed to go to the toilet pretty soon afterwards. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, amber pour, white head, hoppy aroma. Fruity hoppy aroma as well. Mmm. Fruitiness on the taste. A bit pine resiny. Now I'm not a big fan of these pine resin beers. You know, um, I had one the other week. Um, quite a lot, quite a few reviews ago, and uh, I found it too piney you know it was to the stage where i couldn't bloody drink it it was awful i mean i still drank it you know i don't want to waste beer but now oakham do make some nice beers um i think S morrison's is probably the best bet if you do like these unless you go to the obviously the website um and waitrose as well might have some so yesterday I was uh, I was stressed yesterday. I didn't do any reviews yesterday. Um, came home really stressed and uh, and today flipping out severe stress and uh, you know close to just walking out the job and. Uh, Bloody hell, mental health, it's a, it's a terrible thing. And obviously you're in a new job, you, you know, you want to be right, but... I don't know. I'm at that doorway, I'm at that crossroads at the moment where it took me ages to decide I actually wanted the job properly. Ummed and hard and ummed and hard. And... You know, bloody jobs, this, you know, jobs and mental health issues, you know, they make life so a uh, thing. You think you're doing the right thing and then, you know, then you're not sure and then you think, bloody hell, my mind's like a roller coaster, you know. In, in the space of a day, I've gone through so much. I'll never get fucking dementia because uh, I'll, um, it's just like a washing machine all the time going around. And then I worry about every last little thing, which is a bugger. I worry that I drink too much, for starters. And obviously you worry about life, your kids and that. God, it's fun, isn't it, being an adult? 
eh? You know when you're a kid, when you're a kid you think, oh, I want to be an adult, you know, it ain't that much fun. So, yeah, it, this is nice, it's, um, for me, more of a session beer in a pub. Not traditional beer, session craft beer, you know, that sort of thing. The pine resin um, it's becoming a bit more, um, what's the word, in the front. What a bloody week of weather we've had as well. I've got wet so many times this week, it's just not funny. You know, we all moaned last year about that drought, but flipping it, it was nice. And, and you know, for them three months of near enough, the warm weather was fantastic. Hence why we bought a um, hot tub last year. And then this year, you know, it's been, it's been a, a very much different year. Standard British weather has been resumed. So the other day, I don't know if I said this in another review, went to Morrison's uh, the other day and messaged him on Sunday to their Facebook page. He says, uh, excuse me, um, are you going to do any beer festivals this year? Because it was about this time last year when you did one. And then they got a message back saying, what's a beer festival? And I, I, think, I was there gobsmacked, I thought, it's your, fucking, it's your Facebook page, it's your supermarket. You then go a clue what a beer festival is, and, I, and I'm perplexed. And I said, "Well, last year you bought out about twenty new beers and that." And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was gobsmacked. So I, I, I sent back, "Yeah, you bought out twenty new beers, blah blah blah." Um, well, if there's any um, beer festivals, it will be on the fe uh, Morrison's page, and it will be high, heavily promoted. And that was it. I thought, oh, that was a short and sweet and rather rude answer, but I know. And bugger me, two days later, Morrison's have got a beer festival. And apparently there's a load of new beers as well. So um, maybe somebody on the Facebook page should contact their bosses in Morrison's and say, have you actually got a beer festival coming up? You know. <sighs> So, uh, Friday, I'm hoping to go down, might badge the missus and go down Friday before they sell out of all the good beers and uh, uh, see what's there, see what's new, see what's not been reviewed before, or if it's been reviewed, it's exceptional. I don't mind reviewing exceptional beers again. I don't want to review crap beers again because, uh, you know, it's. Uh, you just don't want to do it, you know, you don't want to drink something that was, you drank once and it was vile, you know, unless you've had it for free, then, then it's uh, it's a good one then, you know, you don't, you don't mind freebies, I'm sure none of us mind freebies in this world. So, yeah, this is not bad. Um, It's like the pines died back down again now. It's ever so strange, isn't it? You know, you, you drink beers and all of a sudden you think, bloody hell, that was a bit sharp. And then you get further down. And then probably because your taste buds are getting used to it. Um, you know, as you go down the glass. Uh, slightly hazy amber pour. I did get it all, the, all out of the bottle, didn't I? Yeah. Not a check, because sometimes I leave, I leave beer in. You know, you know you pour it and, and it's got a big head on it and I forget to pour the rest in. And it's sacrilege, uh, took me away good beer. It don't taste great next day if you, if you just try and sip the rest of it thinking I'm not leaving that. So there's a nice fruitiness to it. Not, not as in a fruit beer fruitiness, but there is a fruity uh, notes to it. Not the best of the oaken beers, if I'm being honest. You know, um, not that I can remember any of them at the moment. I've, mine's gone blank. It's not been the greatest of days. But, um, yeah. I like it. So, amber pour. Uh, slightly hazy. White head. Um, 
straight away smell of hops, you know, um, piney resin in the background, bit of uh, fruity taste to it, berry, you know, notes of fruit. And um, that translated both in, you know, all the way down the pint, really. And uh, even now I can taste the, uh, the pine resin. So if you don't like pine resin, resin um, you may not like this beer, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? It's not, it's not a citrus hoppy, it's more pine hoppy. Um, so, out of five. Um, it was okay. Um, I wouldn't put it on a top ten list. Um, I mean, it says bold and adventurous. It's certainly bold, you know, it's certainly... It, you certainly know you've drank it, you know, it's not a, a beer that you drank and you, you're not left with an impression. I've, I've got an impression. Oh. Um, out of five, hmm. I'm going to give it a 3.9 out of five. It didn't really float my boat, if I'm being honest. But a nice bottle nonetheless. Uh, one of the weaker beers, 4.8%, uh, so that did translate. You could taste it was a bit, you know, a little bit on the stronger side. Right, I need to crack on and put a floodlight up. Thanks for watching, see you soon.